is up everybody today I'm doing a review on the M3A1 grease gun. I ha I've opened this box of course to make sure everything is working fine but of course I have a too many cats and they have bitten my edges of my styrofoam. Um, as I told you, I just told you, I just took it out because I had to do a rerun because my brother came in and was like <gasps> um, but it is called the AMWA by Snow Wolf right here. Um, I've always liked this company. It's really good. Um, today I will be showing y'all uh, whatever they call it, the AWMA something. something. And uh, it's a full metal steel grease gun. But I will not get to that right away. I have a sling that I just shoved in here because... I had to take it out and then I had to put it back and it's too much work to fold it. So I am lazy and I did this. Uh, just a nice little sling that comes with the box. Very nice. Um, 520 round uh, high cap uh, grease gun mag. Opens right here. Load in the pellets. Crank it up. Um, I'll just set that up. Um, this did not come with a charger or battery, so I had to buy that separately at the e-bike outpost. Um, here's the charger. It's 30 bucks. It's a it's energy um, thing. I think a lot of people will have this. Very good. Lasts a long time. Um, and of course the LiPo 7.4 volt battery. I will get to this in a second, so I'll show you that. Uh, and of course, some BBs from Snow Wolf. Very nice. <coughs> Damn it. Um, I have a full metal grease gun right here. My favorite gun. Haven't gotten for a while. Been wanting it for two freaking years. Haven't gotten it. Very hard to get out of the box. But here you have it. All metal. Full on steel. This part right here I think is steel. Like everyone knows this. It's usually plastic on like ICFs and stuff. Not sure. Correct me in the comments. Uh, retractable stock. Right here. You can take it out if you'd like. Of course. A um, little hint from Airsoft Mike. I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched this. Then you'll know who he is. He taught, taught me that. Uh, if you take out the stock. There's two little nubbins right here, as you can see. You would stick the stock right in, and then you twist to get it open. But uh, all you gotta do is you gotta take this little nub right here. Everyone can see that. See that? That little thing. Well, you gotta take that, and you gotta push it down and twist your thing. But I don't wanna take it off because it hurts my finger. Um, you have some, oh, what's it called, uh, sling hooks, so you can mount it or hook it on, whatever. Uh, very nice iron sights. I like it. It's really cool. It's got the original welding mark and everything. I do not, yeah, it doesn't have the serial number, sadly. Uh, that would have been way cooler. Very expensive. Well, for me, at least, because I'm a kid. 210 for the gun alone, and then like 45 for the batteries, and then uh, and then I had tax, which was like a lot. I'm gonna say that. Um, it is all right. This right here is this is the safety in uh, fire. You have to open it to fire. Pull back. Up. I love doing that. It's cool. And then. Slap it down, you're in safety. Boom. I'll show you guys later whenever I start shooting it. Will not be shooting pellets, but I will be dry firing. So I know dry firing is horrible for your gun. But I'm just dumb. Alright, so just move the stock back in. Uh, about alright, so for the ba back to the battery. Remember I was telling you about the where the hell are we alright. Alright, the lipo, lipo battery. On this gun, there's a little battery cap right here. You're gonna push that back, see how it goes forward, and comes back. Alright, take that out. Take the battery right here. Let's 
first, you gotta find this little piece of crap. Right there. Damn. Come on. You might need pliers to get out the wire. This might take me a second. Maybe two. Boom, you got the battery. Load it in. That's all you need. Then, find the cap that I somewhere misplaced. Hopefully not in the gun. Alright, so you get your cap, put it right on top, and then you gotta push the cap forward. All good. Did I, uh, also forgot to mention, it comes with an unjamming rod in the bottom of the box. All you need to do now, just take your gun, here, alright, so you take your gun, you open this, and then you go, and then you can just let it go, it can go full, it goes full auto most of the time, so, damn it, hold on, there we go, so full auto, But you can, if you got a nice trigger and not a heavy trigger, you can just go. So, yeah. Uh, overall, I give this uh, four and a half stars. Uh, the reason I don't give it five is because it's very sharp and pointy and it keeps breaking my nails. Like, see? Look at that. You gotta be careful, though. But I'm just a dummy. And I don't wear gloves like other people who are smart. Um... And one more thing, everyone should know this, mag goes in gun, easy. Um, and then mag release right here, pull out, mag's out, done. Hope you guys liked the video, uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time, after I get a new gun or airsoft game, which I have never posted, so. Alright, see y'all.